Inside it are a different colour according to the direction that they're running in. <coughs> it's the fibres inside the. It's the fibres inside because you because you've got the fibres are closely aligned. They act like a pol they are polarised. They are birefringent. So you can see that the the colours will will depend upon the direction that it's being polarised. <laughs> I haven't got this very well centred. You haven't, have you? <laughs> <laughs> well, you get the idea. It's, the muscles, yeah. oh, it's probably too high magnification as well, actually, to get the best effect. What does the slider in the middle do? That? The, the that's a, a a quarter wave, a quarter wave or half. Full wave. That's a full wave retarder, it, and that's what it does. That, that's that's polarized. That's just polarised, isn't it? That's just polarised. Yeah, so so that's, two pol yeah. that's two polarisers crossed. Yeah. So no light can get through. You have one polariser beneath the specimen. So another one above it. So if the, if the specimen does nothing to the light, then it just remains black. Uh, All the lights pop uh, down. But if the, if the specimen uh, rotates the light, uh, it will come through. And the retarder... I can never remember how retarders work, but they they they, they insert a whole um, degree of yeah, twist. It's All another right, degree of twist into it, so you'll get a different colour background according to the extent of retardation.